To get started, navigate to the data menu and select the product. Create a site from the drop-down or the tab at the bottom. I'm calling my site 1, and then I'm choosing from various aspect ratio options, or creating a custom site from my own boundary. Once the site is created, select a source data set. You can choose highest quality, newest, fastest. Selecting on it will give you more information, such as the data set name, provider, and quality level. In this case, I'm going to go with USGS. Click continue, and then choose the customizations for your data product. I'm going to choose a contour resolution of 2 meters and an interval of 2 meters, and then hit generate. The data will process and then load into Equator. Select download to process the file for download. Different formats are available, such as DXF, SVG, DWG, and SHP. The coordinate system can be customized simply by typing it in or selecting from the drop-down menu, or go with the default. Once you've selected your coordinate system, hit process, and then the file will be prepared for download. In the data menu, try another product. Here's Point Cloud. I'm going to select USGS, it's the only option, click Generate, and then the Point Cloud will be loaded into my site. Click on the layer to customize how that layer is visualized. I can look at all points, ground only points, change the color gradient. In this case, I'm going to go with green, yellow, red color gradient. Other options exist such as changing the colorization by the height range of the actual point cloud. That looks good. I can also change the different shapes of the points, so circle, square, parabola. And check out some of the advanced options like being able to adjust the colorization by height or intensity of the classified points. Finally, here I'm adjusting eye dome lighting to give my points a shadow. I've changed the intensity to 20, and now I'm zooming in to check out my site in more detail. Look at all the elements I can see on the golf course. Here I've expanded the toolbar, and I'm cutting a cross-section right through one of the features on the golf course. Clicking on View Cross-Section is going to allow me to see the actual cross-section I've cut through the site and how accurate it is. I can download that point cloud in the same way that I did the contours. In this case, I'm going to accept all the defaults and click process. I can adjust my base layer. I'll zoom out a little bit more. To different options from satellite imagery providers and other base maps. And I can also adjust which layers are on and off on my map by toggling the eye. Great. If you need any help getting started with Equator, the info button at the bottom will take you to our getting started guide and there's also a helpful chat support which you can get in touch with us and ask us your questions.